Hi, my name is Christian uh, from Good Old Company. I uh, make things out of leather and fish leather. Uh, and um, in this video, we are gonna uh, talk about uh, pattern making. Uh, we're gonna start by two very simple patterns for uh, leather wall wallets. These are uh, the basics, the foundation based on uh, my former video about uh, design. So stay with me, subscribe because there is a lot of more videos coming up uh, about uh, leather wallets and uh, leather wallet design. I'll be back to you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, today we are gonna uh, make some uh, patterns and uh, simple patterns uh, for for um, simple wallets. Uh, basically, we need very simple things, but there are a few things that we need. We need, of course, some paper to draw on, uh, some pencil to draw with. We need some uh, square like this or uh, like that one. Uh, we need a ruler. A knife like this one or roller knife like this one uh, scissors we are gonna need glue uh, we are gonna need sandpaper we're gonna need uh, some uh, cardboard paper and uh, what more is that we're gonna use some uh, leather from uh, an old sofa uh, one way of recycling an old sofa. Uh, I'll get back to that uh, later on. So, uh, based on uh, the Fibonacci sequence that I talked about in uh, last week, uh, last video, uh, this image here, if you uh, recall that, if you haven't seen it, go look at it. It's the basis of everything that we do. Now, uh, the foundation. Everything that we're going to design about is uh, around this uh, size, the size of a credit card, debit card, driver's license or, or what kind of license. Uh, these uh, cards are designed I, uh, by the, or, or uh, the size of it by uh, ISO committee. Uh, this is ISO 7810. Now we know that this is 85.6 uh, times uh, 53.9 millimeters that is in square so i have it right here three and a three eighth inch by two and a one eighth inch i'm not used to uh, using inches i use uh, millimeters usually when i design anything uh, but for those that with uh, have the imperial system uh, you wanna uh, maybe do it in uh, in inches so uh, what i talked about in the last video is is that uh, we're gonna base all that we do on uh, the number 10 5 or 10 let's say 10 and uh, this car being up almost uh, nine uh, millimeters or nine centimeters in uh, length uh, we are gonna have uh, so that we have space for uh, thread and glue and, and all that things uh, stretching of materials and, 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 and convenience of, of putting the car in we are gonna go uh, and have the length of uh, the uh, card wallet, uh, we're going to have uh, the length of it, uh, 10. So uh, basically what we need to do is we need to draw a line that is 10 centimeters long. And we need 5 up. point here and we need this of course to be a square so we make we've got five here up have to make it perfect square 
we go here and we go five up and then we go close that line why five five is the perfect uh, cover for the card this means that we need the base now as I said number 10 is uh, what we are working for if we divide 10 by 2 we've got 5 5 by 2 is a uh, two and a half and um, we could go two and a half above but that is actually too much so uh, basing everything on on uh, the golden radio uh, and, and, and uh, Fibonacci sequences we're going to divide this by two again and as I said in the earlier video we are we are simplifying things so uh, we are down to 1.25 and that means that we need 1.25 above here 1.25 and then we have the base we can Now, I am doing this by hand now, just to show you how you do it, it is simple. Uh, we are later on going to take it and, and, and uh, move it up to, to, uh, to uh, do it in software also. So, this here, this is the base. And this is then uh, 62.5 by 100 millimeters. Uh, we can take this line here, stretch it up a little bit. And we take this line here, stretch it up a little bit. And somewhere along the line we will put... A new line and then we go five centimeters from there and this is pocket so basically what we do now is that we take this uh, we take this design of ours, which is beautifully simple design. We uh, cut it out. Cut out the... Cut out the rectangles, try to have it so that we are having a perfect rectangle, preferably. Like that. And then we cut out this one. We've got the pocket then, and then we need the base. Oh. 
super perfectly cut here, so I'm going to cut here again. We could wait with this, but I'm going to do it straight away. Uh, because we have to glue this on to some cardboard. And there we have it. We have the base. We have the pocket that is 5 by 10. And as you can see, if we fit that car in here, even with five millimeters that we have for for uh, stitching all around, it's going to sit perfectly in there. Now, some people like to use thin papers like that. I don't like it. Uh, I want to have it a little bit on a firmer base. So um, what we're going to do is that we're going to glue it onto cardboard and uh, you just steal it from your child well this is one of the things that you should have just a simple glow stick easy to use not too messy I guess I could mess it up but let me glue this down on the cardboard Now we need to cut that. Uh, this is one of the knives I like to use when working with leather. Uh, one of the things that I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go through uh, the basis of uh, tools that we need uh, that is in an upcoming uh, video. Basis of tools that we need to uh, make leather wallets so uh, now we have the edge here and here and we can just cut along this line try not to cut off your finger like that And we have to be as precise in this as we can. This is all the few rewards that we're going to make. They are based on this. The simple card wallets are based on this. So uh, we want to be as precise as we possibly can. Of course, when dealing with everything by hand, there are fractions of millimeters that are gonna be there and we need to fix that in later but we try to have this as perfect as possible we want quality we want precision uh, i know it's boring uh, precision is boring quality is boring but we want to stand for something that is as perfect as possible showing off uh, yeah showing off uh, showing off our uh, craftsmanship so that we can do something that is extraordinary nice and beautiful so we've got two base plates and uh, these are the plates that we're going to use to uh, cut leather and, 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 and work from uh, now 
comes the trick with uh, the leather. Thing is that uh, if you start cutting leather, you uh, put the, this on the leather, this is slippery. Uh, that's why I like actually, let's just use this part here. I like to take it and uh, I sand because this is, uh, as I say, old sofa that I ripped apart and I'm using the elements from it. Uh, I'm gonna glue it on the leather side, having the flesh side down. So uh, I've not tried it with this, I'm usually been using uh, contact cement for this part of gluing but let's try it with the stick and see if that works so we stick it here we can then just cut and cut and cut and cut and you can easily see this one is not sliding this one is easily sliding with a simple trick we've made the pocket wallet so that it is not slipping or sliding and it's staying there let's do this to uh, this part also Sanding off, taking off the most of the glazing that is here, just so that we get a little bit better grip of the glue. And this stick seems to be working. So actually, I've tested it on several things, and it is doing better in many ways than I thought. Clean that up. And voila. We have now the basic patterns that we need to make wallets. Um, let's see. I should have some of similar here. This is a single pocket wallet. Uh, those wallets that I have here, uh, these are two pocket wallets. So, uh, basing everything on uh, what I had done or have done before uh, and talked about the uh, the theory of of, of uh, Fibonacci. Uh, this one is 6.5. That is the foundation. If we now wanna uh, make two pockets, we need two more uh, things. Number one. We need uh, a base that is then this plus this part plus this part. That is this part two times. So we are up from 5, 6.25 to uh, 7.5. So now we have to make just draw a line. I always like to start by drawing a line. I don't know why, but that's the way I want it. Then we want uh, 7.5 here. And we want 10 in this direction. Uh, is here. 
and we want from here on 7.5 that is here now then we want to close this I'm gonna do it. things right okay so we've got the base here now 7.5 base uh, let's just be rough about this take it like that uh, and oh, it's there Glow it to the cardboard. Glow it to the cardboard. We need then to, of course cut that out make it so that everything is the way it's supposed to be precise remember be precise be precise in the beginning and you don't have to think about it or not as much as one would think when you start working it's all about precision quality basically about taking your time I'm doing this quite fast now uh, leather work is not something that you do fast if you do that you will make mistake that is one of the things that I love about leather work you have to take your time and slow down slow down your breathing slow down everything so now we have a base of 7.5 and we have a base of 5 that means that we need the upper pocket uh, and we are going to design the upper pocket, uh, pocket with the thought that we don't want to uh, double this line uh, basically if we would make another pocket here uh, we would be doubling up and tripling up uh, the edges so um, that is why we have a design like this uh, that means that if I put the upper pocket on this edge here is the same when it comes here thus making the edge uh, smaller, thinner and more beautiful uh, and as you can see this is kind of a T form uh, that is something that you have to think about uh, because you may have to worry this uh, based on the material that you think are uh, using uh, today we are gonna do it with uh, seven millimeters let's see so if we take what shall we take let's just make a new one we start from scratch uh, we will have to anyways because there's one more thing that we have to think about uh, number one let's see 
star here if we star 10 here 0 here uh, if then we can have this one uh, uh, let's see make this one we need so much as we need these five plus we need 1.25 minus the space where it's gonna sit so uh, the end result is that we are going to be in 5.5 uh, that is where I ended up that is if we uh, we going to look at it if we have the base we think that we are going to have at least 5 millimeters where uh, we're gonna stitch. Uh, we have this pocket here. Uh, the card wallet that we have is then sitting from the stitch up here. So the next card wallet we want to have it approximately up here. And if we then give us that uh, we have here six centimeters, uh, we have 5.5 centimeters from this point to this point. We are very happy because then we are going to take five millimeters for stitching and the card should sit just in a perfect situation I hope you got this now I feel uh, like I didn't explain it quite well enough uh, why we are doing uh, the third one or the second pocket a uh, 5.5 uh, basically 5 millimeters we have for stitching that means that the card is sitting here now we need the next pocket to go over the card and the card to came, come up from that pocket and if we sit that in the 1.25 somewhere around the middle of that uh, that gives us the space from here down 5.5 and that is where we are going to put the second pocket and stitch it thus we are having on this pocket that is 5 uh, the card sits at 4.5 in the second pocket and every pocket after that the card is sitting uh, at five it's sitting a little bit lower uh, but that fits just uh, nicely so what we need to do now is we need a new line we have to do a new line oops uh, we have to take here uh, 10 centimeters we want 10 centimeters 10 and 0 uh, and we want from that from that 0 we want to go 5.5 up and on this side five point five up and we want close this off now we also need uh, the space uh, here where uh, the stitching is gonna be and where this 
top pocket sits so that we get this uh, nice uh, line equal line uh, so that we are not doubling up uh, the layer uh, thickening the edges of uh, the wallet we want to have it as thin as possible even though it's a little bit thicker in the middle uh, so uh, we need to cut out the space here uh, on this one it is uh, five millimeters uh, I have been having it five millimeters I don't like it uh, I am now at the point where I think seven millimeters is the ultimate at least for this design we need to think about this uh, the form of these in a completely different way uh, as uh, we increase the amount of pockets this might not be the right form for one two up to three pockets this might be okay at least for one and two but we will deal with that in later videos so uh, for now we're gonna take it like that and we're gonna have it like that and then of course we need the 1.2 which is the top 1.25 which is the top that we're gonna have 1.25 and Now we know that this part is the part that we're going to cut away. So uh, let's cut this out. Cut this out. Cut this out. Uh, cut this out. Uh, we need cardboard. And I've got a new glue stick here now. Uh, the one, other one run out so you never have enough what well, that is one thing that you never have enough in your studio that is glue of all types uh, glue that down here cut it out like that. now we have This line, and we take this line, take the bottom line and cut that one also. Cutting out. If you do this right, you will have you won't have to do this ever again, unless you ruin that pattern. But because we are gonna take that part into the computer. Uh, it's going to be easy because we are then being able to print it out again. We don't have to draw it up as we are doing here now. If we want to get some leather. We want to have leather on the back of it.
being rough here now. Uh, we wanna make that. some glow and we are getting ready soon to rock and roll make some wallets Okay, so we've got what we need to make two types of wallets. We can make a basic wallet, 6.5, the height, the pocket, 500 millimeters in this direction, holds a single card, uh, or still can use this one, make it for one pocket and two pockets and everything sits and fits nicely if we would cut that out let's see I cheated I have here let's see the one I have 6.5 I had somewhere here this should be 6.5 this is 7.5 let's see 6.5 here so uh, that means that we have single pocket that we can make from it 7.5 we would be able to have it that um, was badly cut let's see clean that up okay so we have here five centimeters 50 millimeters one and underneath it we have the 5.5 and you can see the portions here everything is fitting perfectly if we take this one you can see where we would be stitching this one before we would be stitching this one and then stitching this one along the lines here uh, and you can see how we keep this thin so this is the basic this is the simplest most basic form of uh, card wallets that you can do from here on you can go everywhere Design whatever you want. You want curves in, in, if you want curves in the pocket, you can put them in from out this layout. You can cut them in there afterwards. Uh, you want curves on the corner, you can cut them. Chop them if you have got the right tools for it or, or just cut them in. Uh, curves like fitting the same as, as the, uh, the the card itself about three four degrees uh, curves uh, this is a design 
basic design that you can use forever and ever and ever more for anything that you want to do when it has which has to do with the basic form credit card from here on we will take it on we will uh, go to the software uh, design it there so we will be able to reuse the elements that we are doing now now we have to create them all the time by, by hand drawing by taking it to the software we can can reuse the elements and just line them up the way we want uh, and of course print it out uh, that is going to be the next video after that I'm going to have a look at the tools that we need uh, material that we are going to use uh, Glue is one, one thing that we have to look at uh, and uh, thread of course and then we're going to start assemb assembling uh, the, uh, the wallet and uh, get the uh, problems that I haven't discussed now uh, because we are going to have some problems we're going to have some negative sides that we have to look at and deal with and uh, we're going to look at that also so uh, all in in its uh, time we're taking it step by step by step in order for you to be able to at the end of all these videos you will be able to start your own business uh, compete with me and everybody else that are making wallets uh, that's my hope that's my goal hope to see you in the uh, next video uh, thank you for now bye bye